This is Kevin Dudak with SpectraLogic. In this video, we're going to take a look at how quickly and easily you can configure an interior verde. We'll start by logging into the management IP address. The system ships with a standard default IP for management, so we're obviously going to need to change it to fit our local network. In this case, we're going to change it to 10.5.10.125. I'm doing this from a multi-homed laptop, so we'll have access to both networks. Once we click Save, the system will update the IP address, and literally in a couple of moments, we'll be able to log back into that new IP. Go ahead and log back in to the new IP address. Username and password from the factory are both Spectra. Now what we'll do is quickly add in an IP address for the data network. The system has different data and management networks. In this case, we're going to use a nice and simple IP address. Go ahead and save it. And now we'll be on to creating pools. Pools are where disk drives are collected together into parity settings and stripes. So we'll give it a name, use the default number of drives. You can see we can make some changes here and the system will tell us what it looks like. Once we've done that, make a volume, keep the naming pretty simple. We could plug in a min and max size, but we'll go ahead and skip that since thin provisioning will just let it grow automatically. Now that we've got a pool and a volume, we need a share, point of there. We'll go ahead and select the defaults, and go ahead with that. In this case, it'll be a sys or SMB share. And because of that, we either need a join AD or we need to create a password for the local administrator account. So we'll type one in. I didn't get them the same. Let's do this again real fast. Hope I can spell password. Go ahead and click Save, and that's it. We're now done and ready to go. Now you can mount a volume and start writing data to Verde.